Today we're going to be sharing how to make this vintage inspired pumpkin treat bucket by using a $2 pumpkin bucket and some paper mache. First you're going to want to cover your surface with a plastic tablecloth because there will be glue getting all over the place. I didn't have newspaper so I ended up using a craft paper roll but you could use whatever paper you have on hand. Then I got a $2 pumpkin bucket from Walmart, got a bowl, some Elmer's glue, water, and some crepe streamers as well as some scissors. Then I turned a Halloween movie on and I cut out a bunch of strips of paper for the paper mache. Um, so I cut mine about two inches by probably five or six inches, doesn't really matter. Um, and then I just cut out a whole pile of them so I can get started. Then you're going to empty your Elmer's glue into the bowl that you have and mix it with some water to make it a little bit thinner so it's an easier paste to use. This isn't really an exact science, but this is about how thin I made mine. Then you're gonna take your paper strips, dip them in your paste that you made, and then run the paper between two fingers to get off excess paste, and then start applying it to the pumpkin. Once you have the pumpkin covered in one full layer, you're gonna let this dry completely, and then you'll repeat again with one or two more layers depending on what you'd like. I also used the crepe streamers to create some structure for my pumpkin's face, the little cheekbones and eyes and eyebrows. And once I was happy with the shape and the coverage, I let it dry completely. Mine took about two days to be completely dry, and then I started painting. I did try to use more natural tones rather than brighter tones to give it more of a vintage feel. 